Tell me your thoughts on the reading this week. 2. Be honest. As I approached this week's reading I was dreading looking at another perspective on copyright law. That's understandable. It was refreshing to read Benkler's book, Wealth of Networks. Right from the introduction I could agree with how he framed the movement of information and how it is no longer fits within the current economical structures of marketing industrial production and productivity. But what I found to be fascinating were his thoughts on the movement of information through networks. Here he spoke about the user-driven innovation where the need and creativity of the individual is actually what drives the networking which falls outside the constraints of economics and the institutions one would find there. That is fascinating. Tell me more. Essentially, what Benkler is pointing out is that humans are diversely motivated individuals that are not necessarily using information for material gain but are benefiting from the sharing of information out of the desire for self-gratification, well-being and social connectedness. I agree. From this perspective, the movement of information is being driven by the diverse needs, motivation and individuality of those that are using the information through networking. This brings up an interesting cultural implication that really has nothing to do with economics so much as it is no longer fitting within the old structures that have supported our industrialized idea of innovation and marketing through a price system. So where are we going with this? Our culture is now requiring that we shift from the perspective that our interactions and the sharing of information is to be solely for the purpose of market production or collaborations within a price system to the perspective that networks allow individuals and non-market collaborators the freedom to be creative in their individual efforts and their collaborative efforts. To quote Benkler in the introduction, the result is a flourishing non-market sector of information knowledge and cultural production. Its outputs, in turn, are not treated as Exclusive property. Great quote. Benkler is giving us an insight into the underlying compulsion of information that we have not seen touched on in our other reading this term. While we have read about the desires of our culture to remix, use, and share information we have barely touched on what is behind our desire to sow. Remixing then is not necessarily about fitting into an economical price system but is our way of connecting and relating to one another. Where is the threat here? Yes, just what is the threat? If we take a look at how we are networking and using this networking to connect to others through the sharing of information it becomes apparent that information sharing is becoming more fluid than we could have ever imagined possible. Benkler is calling us to recognize that within our network information economy even our connections with others are being organized by the very information we share. Our enhanced autonomy has allowed for a freedom to expand across the globe and connect with others in a way that the old system did not allow for. I see your point about fluidity and autonomy. It is not all about a price system or even about copyright law. It is time that we recognize that the sharing of information has become a critical part of our culture and directly impacts our ability to share within our communities. This is what we should be looking at when we are addressing copyright reform. This is also what Lessig and Boyle are asking us to consider when they speak about the direction our culture is taking in how our current copyright law is regulating what it was not intended to regulate culture. Yes, very critical. For me personally, I enjoy having the freedom to connect with my community at large and share mass amounts of information without being concerned with infringement. I do not wish to confine myself within the old system that is no longer able to meet the needs of how I network. In all honesty, I desire a system that allows me to share copyrighted information with others including my students and as long as I am not profiting from the information that I am sharing then I am not sure that I see the problem. It does not take from the original work. If anything it adds value. Now, that's an A.